What's your name, Kiss Guy? That's my favorite band. That's my favorite rock star. Like, I got to be Spider-Man for a day. And, like, uh, it's, man, it's just cool. It's just cool. It's surreal still. You ever done this before? It's really fun. <laughs> I'm from from Austin. His own fucking pit. It just kind of comes with the territory, you know. A lot of people pick up guitar pretty young and took some guitar lessons at Austin School of Music, and just kind of uh, that's that's how it all started, you know. My my dad, uh, not very into rock music, but he bought uh, bought me three CDs. It was. Kiss Greatest Hits, Van Halen Greatest Hits, and Aerosmith. It, for me, it was Kiss. Uh, that was the first concert that, you know, messed me up in a good way and uh, got me obsessed with, you know, being in bands and be playing and everything. And then my sister got me into Foo Fighters, told me all about Grohl. And, you know, just like everyone else, you know, he's very... He's, he's the coolest rock star out there, you know. I had just turned 25, and uh, yeah, my mom got me a general admission ticket, knowing I was obsessed, and um, I, uh, I, you know, leading up to that concert on YouTube, I saw this Australian kid, which we've been talking, this Australian kid named Joey, I saw him uh, get invited on stage by Dave Grohl and uh, play Monkey Wrench and watching that I was like I want to do that and so I made my sign and I was honestly surprised that I was the only one out there that had a sign that day <clears throat> thinking you know oh, it's Austin somebody's gonna someone else is gonna do it there's a million uh, million better guitar players than me in you know in this town you know pain in my face was just me cracking a joke on myself or something i don't know what it was i was just feeling funny so painting my face which i painted my my own face i'm proud of because it looked kind of cool it looked like the real thing you know a lot of the people were kind of weirded out by me you know like uh i, I was like there was like a little like circle around me in the general admission like people like looking at me like I'm a total weirdo which I am and um and yes until it happened I, you know nobody kind of wanted to be around the dude with the makeup the whole show that he, he they kept uh you know doing little shout outs and stuff and um and on one of the shout outs when Chris Shiflett and Dave were calling me out like Chris has Ace Freely on his Les Paul and and he was like I prefer Ace which understood um uh at that moment is when I had unfolded the sign that I was like yeah whatever I kind of almost gave up on it and then I unwrinkled it up and flashed it and they both kind of like oh and I knew they saw it, so I was like, all right, sign's done. They saw it. Whatever happens, happens. Like, you know, I'm wearing Kiss makeup. This is crazy. Stupid. They let the singer of the band, The Struts, play Under Pressure. And right after that, you know, Dave goes, hey, Kiss guy. And, yeah, I, <clears throat> it's like that feeling when... Uh, when you get called to the principal's office and you're like in first grade and you know that sinking feeling i know that feeling very well and uh yeah i got a huge wave of that and this voice in my head was like all right you know like well that's you know it's like uh here it is stupid go went slow motion it really did two times like uh right when that happened you know i remember like everybody turning back like <laughs> and that really happened and then also the moment you know and my i'm feeling that feeling again the uh 
you know, your nerves and everything. Uh, yeah, went up there, you know, climbed the stage, said what's up, and then it went slow-mo again when I thought he, it's hard to explain, but I really thought he was messing with me, and it was like a, it really went slow motion when he took off his guitar and the strap, and like, he was like looking at me sideways, and like, his, his face is like slow-mo, like, like the movies, you know, I can't do it, but yeah, he took off his guitar, and that moment was slow motion, and then supersonic speed don't remember really kind of blacked out but that moment when he handed the guitar over it was slow motion from my view you know dave is super tall dude and you know compared to compared to me so that guitar strap was that the strap right when he put it on i was like oh crap like that thing was down to my knees you know um i don't know if you can tell from the video but it was low you know, the strap, and that was the first, like, oh shit moment, like, you know, uh, wasn't ready for that one, and, uh, and, but some, you know, once, I guess, just muscle memory from just opening the volume, like, it just, you know, you, you play a few shows, you just, you know, it's like jumping out of an airplane, like, once you jump, you're like, oh, I'm good, got it. After I remember this, like, really, like, hot chick that, like, kind of looked like an avatar was on the side of the stage, and she had, like, long, white dreads down to, like, you know, her ankles, and and she was like, dude, that was sick, and I, like, my phone was dead, and, and, and she was like, dude, that was awesome, everything's, gonna, it's happening really fast, and while this is happening, the one of the guitar tags with this light on his forehead he's like sh comes up with beer and he gave me two beers and they had the, like the little polar bear on it and um and so i'm like whatever my stuff's all smeared the bass player for rise against ran up at the same moment when i'm talking to this chick i'm like can i borrow your phone i want to call my mom and my, my skin's flapping and I have a beer and the dude's like, yo, I'm in Rise Against. I'm like, dude, I helped record your brother who's in the toadies because uh, and so they're twins. And then it all happened so fast. And then I remember the keyboardist Rami walked up while this is happening and was like, that was sick. And and then the, she gave me a phone, dialed it. And I'm like, mom, I just played with Foo Fighters. Bye. She's like, what? I hung up, handed her the phone back. Um, and yeah, then he started playing times like these next, but he did it without the band. So the whole intro is like, times like it was glorious, dude. And I, and I just remember having this moment standing at the rail on the side, like, like, like came back to my, but I was like, wait a second. I'm like looking at, you know, it's like it just came back to reality for a second. And I'm watching, you know, Dave looking this way, talking to the people. And I was like, wait, you know, and then it started kind of sinking in. And um, it wouldn't have happened with any other band or whatever. You know, Dave Grohl, you know, and everybody, I mean, only girl would let something like that happen, you know. So that that was the real re reward, you know, man. The, it got to happen, and like, uh, you know, those guys don't don't owe me anything. Nobody owes me anything. That the fact that that moment happened, that was awesome, and everything that happened after, you know, was extra credit or something. One of my dreams was just like, man, imagine releasing music that you make and and there's people waiting you know that people you know because i come from like nobody cares <laughs> about your band to to you know over a thousand people from all over the world you know like ready to hear something you're about to release that's that is you know dream come true and you know going into it that wasn't what i was looking for but man
it, uh, not complaining. I'm grateful and, you know, there's still people reaching out because of that. Taylor Hawkins was a huge, was probably the main reason why it looks so clean, you know, and uh, and why it, it's not, people don't believe that it, that was just truly lightning in the bottle, you know. So would you would you take an opportunity to play with Dave again on stage? <laughs> of course, man. You know, but like I said, those boys they don't owe me anything, you know. But if you know, God wants us to rock, then we're gonna rock. But if not, it, dude, it's totally cool, you know. And it'll it'll never be the same, you know. Anyway, it's not you can't you can't replicate what happened you know i don't know if i'd want to play monkey wrench again <laughs> you know because it's just going to dilute the you know that the original you know lightning that happened uh you know magic um but you know of course you know um of course i'm down <laughs> <laughs>